Good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. We have been hiking today. We've been in the pool. It's been overcast, but it's been in the 80s. It has been a great Saturday today. Best of all, I have not had to work today. I love having days off. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can save a lot of money building an in-ground swimming pool. This video is really just going to be talking about pool contractors and that's basically it. It is choosing the right contractor. I'm going to get into some details, some things that I had no idea about. You could potentially save $5,000 or $8,000 on the cost of your in-ground swimming pool. I do have another video about how much does an in-ground swimming pool cost if you have not seen that video. I will leave a link in the description below. In that video I go over the pool that we had built last year and I break down some of the added cost of some of the things we put on there. That video may be a good place to start to kind of give you an idea of how much a pool costs. I do talk about some ways to save money in that pool maybe by not having a diving board or making different choices than we made taking away this or that I had no idea about pool contractors before we built a swimming pool the best advice I can give you for getting a great price on a pool two things number one ask a lot of questions and number two get a lot of quotes you need to figure out the design of the pool and everything you want for your pool, all the details, and then get different price quotes because there are huge differences between different contractors. We have several families and friends that we know that have built pools over the last two years. They were not even aware of what I'm going to tell you. They could have saved possibly 5000 or eight or maybe even $10,000 on the cost of their pool simply by going with a different contractor. Something that I found out about pool contractors, they are a general contractor. Now I know this doesn't apply to all pool contractors. Some pool contractors might do everything in-house. They might have a bunch of employees and they dig the pool. They pour the concrete walls or form the metal walls and then they actually come back and dig it by hand and shape it and put the liner in and do the concrete patio. Some companies may do that. That's fine. Get a quote from those companies too. But I found out, at least in my area of Georgia, most, if not all, but most of the pool contractors or pool companies, they're just general contractors. They don't even do any of the work themselves. They really are just like a house contractor. Like they're basically a project manager and they're coordinating all these subcontractors. There are a lot of pool companies around us that have very good reputations. They've been in business for a long time. Some of them have stores. You can go there and buy floats and pool chemicals and you can kind of design your pool in the store. Some of them don't. They're just a pool contractor. One thing that all these people have in common, even the companies, the pool companies that have the nice pool store, they're not really doing any of the work. At least in my area, there is the same set of subcontractors working for all of the pool, not all, but most. The same group of guys, the contractors, they're working for all these pool companies. Uh, as far as I know, all over the state of Georgia, wherever you're at, it may be the same in your state. The point of this is these subcontractors, you've got the guy that's digging the pool and then they come back and they form the walls, whether it be metal or concrete, and then they come back and kind of shape the pool and they go on through the process. You have just a few different subs that are basically doing it and they all have their set price based on the design of the pool. What you're really paying for is the name of the contractor that you are using. So we ended up going with a pretty new pool company. I really only think he's been around a couple of years, if that long. And we ended up saving a lot of money. I really think we probably saved about $8,000 on the cost of our pool. 
Now, that's good and that's possibly bad. I'm going to get into that in a minute. We've had several other friends do the same thing. They got a quote from the contractor that we used and a quote from some of the other companies around us, some of the guys that have great reputations, the companies that have been around a long time. It's the exact same pool design and really it's the same subcontractors doing the work, but the well-known company, the company that's been around with a good reputation, they are basically just charging a bigger fee and they may be kind of nickel and diming every other little thing on the project. And just like we had a price difference of seven to eight thousand dollars, some of our friends have said the same thing as much as an eight thousand dollar difference in the cost of the same pool. So whether you go with the newer pool company or you go with someone that's been around for a long time, it's highly likely that the quality of your pool is going to be exactly the same if they're using the exact same contractors. The pool contractors, the subcontractors, I mean, the subcontractors that are doing the work, I found out that they work for as many as 40 to 50 different companies. Honestly, it's been over a year since I talked to some of the subs, and it might have even been more than that. So they work for as many as 40 or 50 different pool companies. So if you go to a well-known pool company in your area and you want to get a pool and they give you some really high price, well, I would definitely ask them, are you doing all this work in-house? Like, do you have employees doing this? Am I paying for, for their work, their expertise? Or are you subbing it out? I don't think that's a problem to ask. I mean, any company, okay, that's one thing the contractor that we used, I really liked about the guy in the beginning. Uh, he was very honest about things. He had no problem kind of telling us the way things work. You know, if some company wants to be secretive about it and say uh, it's none of your business, well, they're not getting your money. You're talking about spending 40000 or someone just commented a contractor wants them to pay 65000 for a pool similar to mine. That's, that's crazy. I don't know the details of it. Maybe they live in an area that uh, requires different things like more permits. So that's kind of the big secret. We've had several families that they just went out and got a quote from a pool company that they know has been in business for many years and the pool company, they've got this nice store to get the chemicals from and they paid this premium price and then a year or two later we come and build a pool very similar and we saved thousands of dollars and now that family's like wait a minute we didn't know that's how it worked they assumed that the pool company was pretty much doing everything themselves so make sure you ask lots of questions are you doing you know ask the company the pool company are you doing all the work in-house are you subbing it out also get lots of quotes of course go to the big well-known pool companies but go to a lot of the smaller the newer companies also and maybe those people will be honest like the company that we chose it started out great in the beginning the guy was honest you know he said hey we we're a small company we're a new company but we're gonna build you a beautiful pool we use all the same subs that all the bigger guys use don't be afraid to ask questions you're gonna be spending a lot of money another thing about the contractors it's the same as building a house our pool contractor, the way I understand it, is basically a cost plus contractor. All these subs have a set price and he takes that price and just adds his fee on top of that and there you go. That's what we're quoted. Some of the bigger pool companies, okay, it's the same with building a house. When we built our house, we chose a contractor. It was a cost plus. It was all of the subcontractors, labor, all the material cost, and then he just added his fee on top of that. The same for our house. It's the same way we built the pool. A lot of contractors, whether, you, whether you're talking about a pool or a house, they're not cost plus. 
They're going to nickel and dime you to death. They're going to add fees onto everything. Like if the plumber comes in and says it's $1,000, they're going to add $100 onto that. The electrician says it's $500, they're going to add another $50 onto that. Some pool contractors are probably going to add a fee on top of everything that the subs are charging. So they will have their set fee to build the pool and then they're going to be adding more fees to this and that. We have been lucky, I guess, to deal with a few contractors that have been very open about certain things. Just make sure you ask a lot of questions and if they are rude, don't use them. Now, at least in our area, there are so many pool companies around us. Two families that we know, two families that we're close to, they used a pool contractor that had a very great reputation, and I know he builds beautiful pools. Of course, he's using the same subs that everyone's using. He came out to give us a price quote. He was 30 minutes late. He was grumpy. He was uh, not very nice at all. Being late is one thing, but at least call us. Now, I'm not really getting into complaining about that guy, so I'm just saying, just because you're trying to go with that super well-known pool company with the great reputation, it doesn't mean you're going to get the best pool or the best service, because that guy immediately lost my business by the way he was treating us. He was late without calling. Also, when he sent us the pool quote, it was very high compared to what we ended up getting it for. Okay, it seems like nothing great comes without something bad. So let's talk about that real quick. What is the downside of maybe using this cheaper contractor? Well, our relationship with our pool contractor started out great. Lots of communication through emails and text and throughout the project, man, it was just going great. Everybody's happy. To keep it short and sweet, at the very end of our project, within three days of completion, we had a lot of cracks in our concrete. I'm really not happy about that. Now there's a saying in life, nothing is guaranteed but death and taxes. It should really be three things. Nothing is guaranteed in life but death, taxes, and cracks in your concrete. But come on, man three days after we finished the pool we had cracks now there's a little bit more to the story uh, a couple of other sections cracked right after they were poured before the pool liner went in so they did actually repair or replace a couple sections and then immediately upon finishing the entire project lots of cracks in the concrete. That kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. That's why there's been a few people ask me about, hey, will you give me a reference? Who did you use? I'm not doing that at this time because while it started out great and we saved a lot of money, there were a few things like that. Dealing with the concrete, uh, I'm not giving a fair story of it, but this isn't really the video for that. Anyway, I'm telling you, the guy left me not super happy with the way it ended and he should have handled it different. So we saved a lot of money, but in the end, you know, we got a beautiful pool. It runs great, we've enjoyed it, but you know, we have some issues with the concrete. I wonder if we would have gone with the more reputable company, if we would have paid more money for their service, their reputation, would they have done a better job? Not only on the concrete, but there's a few other things like trash that was left around my property and now we do have a few acres here so we have a lot of woods and when they were pouring the concrete for different things they just left piles of concrete in the yard i know that uh, you got to wash the concrete truck out so that's going to happen but if i was the contractor at the end of the project i would have had a uh, skid steer or something i would have been loading up all that stuff i would have cleaned the person's yard uh, there's lots of little things like that, little odds and ends that I'm not really getting into in this video, but there's just a few little things that we saved money on the pool, but the very end of the project, it just, it wasn't like I felt it should have ended. And uh, so just keep that in mind. Maybe if we would have paid more money, if we would have gone with 
a more reputable company and they would have been concerned really about their unhappiness, uh, maybe they would have taken care of every single little detail because they were making more money on the project. Now, in the contractor's defense, we did not pay for any landscaping. So that, as far as I know, maybe that's why they didn't clean up the concrete and they left some trash here and there. I don't know. Uh, we were trying to save money. I agree that we're going to do the seeding and sodding and whatever else we had to do. So there's the big secret. I hope you learned something about it. If you're thinking about building a pool, please ask them a lot of questions and make sure you get a lot of quotes and get it in writing. Talk to lots of different companies. Ask them, are you doing it in-house? Are you subbing out the work? If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Let me add one more thing about the contractor that we used. I am not that type of person to name names and try to give problems to them or give them a bad reputation. There has been a family that we know that used them based on my recommendation. They saved a lot of money and I believe they're very happy with that company. For some reason, just like building our house, we had problems with the contractor at the end. The same with the pool, we had some problems at the end. So when people ask me, who did you use? Give us a recommendation. I'm not dragging the, the name of the company or the people through the mud. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be honest about what happened. And at least as far as the internet goes, I'm just not putting their name out there. I, I hope people just kind of learn from our experience. The opportunity to save a lot of money, building a house, building a pool, it's out there. But just be careful, know what you're getting into, ask lots of questions. And maybe I'll cover some of the other stuff we're, we were unhappy about in another video and, and uh, definitely about the concrete, something that I've never done concrete work. So the reason it cracked, I found out later, we were given suggestions on why that happened. I had no idea. So I'll probably make another video about that just so other people, if you're looking to get into the pool, if you're gonna spend lots of money like we did I mean we spent I don't know probably seven thousand dollars in concrete and then there's lots of cracks in it I'm rambling I'm getting off subject the point is I'm not here to trash that company I'm not happy with the way the project ended so I just won't recommend them and I won't use them again but I will try to help other people Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I really try not to yell in this video. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.